Bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. I'm glad you could join us for Logan Park at uh, Sonoma Mountain Village. And Adam Pepperero is with us right now. And I got that name right that time. They call yes, you Mr. Sir. P, is that the They call me Mr. P. It kind of simplifies everything with my last name. <laughs> I see. Now, the family business at the Academy of Martial Arts. Yes, sir. Uh, the family's been in the business for many years? Uh, right? Yes, sir. I'm a professional martial art instructor, uh -huh. as is my mother and my father. It's a family-owned and operated uh -huh. business. Uh, uh -huh. We've been in Sonoma County for the past 17 years, uh -huh. and we recently had our one-year anniversary here at the Sonoma Mountain Village. Okay. Now, Adam, I have to ask you, did yes. you grow up in a family where everyone went like this all the no, time? No, actually, no. Uh, it was, down, Adam. Boom. Despite what a lot of people uh, yeah. think in the popular misconception, I have never in my life ever gone, wah, or anything like this. <laughs> but, yeah, and don't start now. No, I won't. <laughs> yeah. I'll leave that for Bruce Lee. Yeah, okay. And so the martial arts, what kind of martial arts? Well, what we teach is a blended style. When we first, uh, through high quality martial art instruction, what we try to do is empower men, women, and children of all ages to achieve their best. Our curriculum started out as a single style martial arts, but over the years it's evolved into a blended style of leading martial arts systems and teaching methodology. So what we have now is an original what style. What does all that mean? Well, basically what it means is you have, like, for example, you might have a generic term like karate, right? Yeah, right. And a lot of people use... Judo. Right, exactly. So these are different martial arts systems yeah. or styles. Yeah. Well, every style has its strengths, and some, you know, every style has their weaknesses as well. Uh -huh. So typically in a single style system, what happens is you get your information from a certain perspective. And there's nothing wrong with that at all, it's just that in today's day and age, a lot of people want their systems to be blended so they learn how to defend themselves upright and on the ground with their legs as well as their hands, as well as their elbows and knees and everything in between. So what we've done is we've taken the best from several systems, like Taekwondo, Kempo Karate, Kickboxing, Muay Thai, Aikido, and uh, Weaponry. And we've blended that with signature techniques from Capoeira, which is a Brazilian martial art, and uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which is ground fighting, and concepts from... I'm getting tired just well, listening. Concepts from yeah. Jeet Kune Do, which is uh, the yeah. martial art that Bruce Lee authored. Yeah. And then what we've done is created our own system called Kansei Martial Arts, which is spelled uh -huh. K-O-N-S-E-I, uh -huh. which loosely translated means acceptance of all styles. Uh -huh. So there's no exclusion, there's no prejudice to styles. There's, we're not saying that we have our style, it's better than yours. We're saying there's good in everything, so let's take the best uh -huh. and give everyone a well-rounded martial art education uh -huh. and experience. Do you teach running? Do we teach what? Running. Actually, we do running. Do running. You know why you... Yes. Okay, you know that. I'm running out of here. You know. Well, you, you know what? You have to teach running because the best form of self-defense is avoidance. And if yes, you can right. stop it from getting physical, you need to be able to get out of there, That's, right? I, I wasn't kidding when I said that. Yeah, I mean, I'm with you on that one. You know, because <laughs> uh, you don't know what you're going to come up against. Weapons, all kinds of things. I mean, most of us go through our lives, we don't get in those situations. Absolutely. Yeah. And I don't look for those situations either. If I was ever in a situation and someone, you know, if I had a chance to get out, when in doubt, get out. That's what we tell yeah. the students, I would get out. That's what you tell your kids. I mean, you don't want them, you don't want to take a 10-year-old uh, or whatever and teach that boy to be an aggressive person. You are, you are absolutely right. That is uh, the core value of our philosophy with the children. The idea with the children is that they should learn a higher level of self-confidence and gain, gain greater self-esteem. Uh, so that they have better grades in school, better behavior at home when they become teenagers, they have a greater level of self-confidence so they can deal with the complexities of their life, yeah. the peer pressure. Yeah. And then for adults, you know, it helps them to have better business relationships and better personal relationships as well. Yeah, but I think the self-confidence thing is, is absolutely really the, the core. most important thing yes, sir. about that. Yes, sir. They absolutely. feel confident, they don't have to prove themselves, they don't have to, you know, well, and, and bullying, things like that yes. are things you've got to... Well, especially in today's day and age, it's actually interesting the way things have changed. There's a lot of internet bullying, text message bullying. Yeah, right. Schools have a zero tolerance policy, at least here they do, on fighting. So kids find ways around that. You know, instead of punching someone, I'll, I'll slap them in the arm 26 times, and I'm yeah. not fighting, right? Yeah. Uh, I'll call them names through text message or through the internet, and it's not being done verbally. So, yeah. you know, the bullying has evolved along with the, uh, the, the concept of teaching technical, modern martial arts. Technical bullying. Yes, sir. Adam, nice meeting you. Jack, it was very nice meeting yeah, you. Okay. I appreciate okay. this, sir. Pecorero, Adam Pecorero, and he is with the Academy of Martial Arts, and not once did he go, whoa! We're going to park at Sally Tomatoes restaurant.